Hey everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box. Strap in, because I'm going to push through to the end of the chapter, which really isn't too far away, but that may make this video fairly long. Of course, if it makes about 30 minutes long, I'll just split it in half and pretend I never said this bit. So anyway, let's go, shall we? We're not quite done in here, even though we have done all, even though we have finished the basics. Because there's a puzzle right there. This forest just goes on and on, and it's darker than ever here. Yes, but fortunately, someone left behind a second lantern. Let's see where we are. Number 122, light the forest 2, worth 30 points. Use lamps to light up the dark forest path, blah, blah, blah. Same as we've seen every time. And once again, we have four... We have four uh, areas we need to cover four straight lines. Well, actually, it's five this time. It's five, not four. We're not thinking. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's put the lanterns in the typical spots here. Because this is actually always a good way to start out one of these puzzles. Well, let's see. What do we miss? We miss a ton of stuff, don't we? So we need to move one of these over here. And if we want to take care of both of these, we'll have to hit them from the opposite corners, won't we? Because we put one here and one here. The diagonals are the key to figuring out at least most of this. So if we put them here and put them here, we can't put them here because that doubles up a line and we'll be missing one somewhere. Let's put that there and put that there. That takes care of the diagonals. It leaves this, this whole area unguarded. Okay. That's got a good grip on there, so I'm going to leave that there. Okay. That is the entire group there. This is nearly useless. Let's see, I put that there. That takes care of that, but does nothing for over here, so we put that there. Then we move this over here. It takes care of straight. Yep, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and that, that, that. All three of those taken care of. Excellent. Here goes. Piece of cake. So now, finally, some light. Now that the path is easier to follow, let's move ahead. We are now officially done on this page. So let's move to the next one, where there's a photo to take. The next to last photo. So let's take a look and spot the differences. Dark Forest 2. Okay. Well, the first thing I see is this is different. Consider this puzzle solved. And there we have it. Okay, now what else is not this? Ooh, that's not the same. There's an extra little clump of leaves there. And now to test my theory. And there we have it. And there's one more difference. That's... Uh, aha! That stump's not there. This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Easy enough. We're only short one photo, folks. Let's see. Oh, over here. Oh, thank you, Thoris. And let's see. 
over here. Yep, that's different. The other difference that leaves up there is another puzzle, so I believe the last one is over here. Yep, so let's check the puzzle out. Oh look, I found a hidden puzzle! Number 97, A Starry Sky, worth 40 points. It's said that ancient peoples came up with constellations by staring up at the scars and the scars, the stars in the night sky. Here's a star-laden puzzle to celebrate their achievements. Below is a six grid, a six by six grid of sky and stars arranged into nine larger blocks. Move these larger blocks so that each row and column contains three stars. Blocks with no surrounding outlines can't be moved. Oh, that means this, this one, this one, and this one are all stuck in place. So that means that this, let's see, we need three in each row, right? Three in each column, too, right? Each row and column. Doesn't matter about diagonal, but row and column, we need one. Okay. So if this is stuck in place and this is stuck in place, then we need one with one here and two here. How many of those do I have? Just the one. So it can go there. Perfect. And this one needs all four stars. Okay. Well, let's see. We need one with zero here and one here. Once we've got that one and... Oh wait, I didn't switch that. I haven't fixed that yet. So no, I can't say that yet. Okay. But this and this are now completely taken care of. So let's see. Well, obviously, we can't have this one in here. So that has to be over here somewhere. But this one has to be somewhere. This one has to be here. But that one can't be there. That's too many straight down. Okay, so let's see. One, three, three. Three, 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 three. Got it. Consider this puzzle solved. Ha! Huh, wonderful. I have no idea what that constellation would actually be, so let's just call it the Leighton constellation. Phew, that wasn't easy. It wasn't hard. Maybe I just played too much Sudoku. I don't know. But we have another puzzle here. Look at this strange mushroom, Professor. Curious. I've never seen this type before. Let me study it just a moment before we move on. Puzzle number 125. Forest mushrooms. Worth 50 points. Collect all the mushrooms in this forest as you pass through. Each circular clearing in the map contains a mushroom. But you don't want to spend too long in this creepy forest through, so find the quickest route through that visits each clearing only one time. But you gotta stay on the roadways. Well, let's see here. The fastest way we go... We go that way, and that way. And we go that way. Then if we come back over here. And then go that way. Then go over here. And we've gotten taken care of the bottom just fine. And now we need to go this way. Then we go this way. Then we go down. Then we don't have much choice, but we go up twice. Then we go that way. We go over here, and we don't have much choice. Hmm. Go down. Yeah, I don't want to go there yet. So, that makes this completely clear. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Indeed it does. That was almost too easy. Mushtastic. I'm never using that. 
Now that your curiosity is satisfied, can we please move on, Professor? In a hurry, Luke? Well, that's too bad, because there's another puzzle here. Professor, I hate to say it again, but I think we need a little more light out here. Alright, let's see if we can't use this lantern to get back our bearings. Puzzle 123. Light the forest 3, worth 40 points. So you notice that they made this even bigger with even more convoluted ways here? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that should tell you we need 6 lanterns to take care of all these things. Well, the most obvious lantern we can place down here is going to be right here. That just makes more sense than anything else we could ever hope to think of. So, what if we go straight down the line and... No, we can't do that. And here. That's close, right? Well, let's see. Well, one of those two is going to have to be there, and one of those two is going to have to be there. So we either need you here, and you here. You here, and you here. Hmm. And then we're going to need to do that again, aren't we? Yes, we are. Well, these two... Can't take this. And this one... Yeah, we need to put that one there, because it'll be the only one doing there. Which means this one has to go here. Which means that this one can't be there. It can be here, though. That one can go away now. Which means that, that would have to go there. And nope, that can't go there. That has to go here, so that's wrong. So that's right. And there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And all the diagonals taken care of. Just leave it to me. <clears throat> that was almost too easy. We get that same message about being creepy because it's dark. Yay! I can see again. That's much better. And now we are done on this path, so. See if Thoros has anything to say. Uh, over here. He does. There's one. Okay. Over here. Nope, that's a puzzle. It's not quite the not quite the hint coin, but it is a puzzle. Pfft, when did it get so chilly? Indeed, it's so cold out here that the lake is frozen over. Oh, I have an idea for a shortcut. Number 126, Slippery Crossings 1, worth 20 points. The lake in front of the professor has frozen solid. The ice is thick enough to stand on, but so slippery that any movement in any direction causes him to slide uncontrollably in that direction till he hits a wall. <sighs> when stationary, you can change the professor's direction by tapping the arrows around him. Can you guide the professor through the slippery lake to the goal? Well, obviously he's going to start going straight up. And then obviously he's either going to need to be stop here or stop here. To go up. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, is it possible for him to come from this direction? No. So he has to stop here to go up. Which means he would have had to... 
Well, how would that work? Oh, I see how it work. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So you could come from there. Because you'd be good that way. Or no, wait. You couldn't come from that way. You could come from... Well, which way could you come from? Hmm. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Ah, that makes it pretty simple. And we got that way. Over, up, and then in. And now to that actually did make theory. it pretty easy. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Our crossing went well as could be hoped for, but we can't stop here. Off we go! Well, I'm only about halfway between where I was at the start of this video and the end of the chapter. And I'm 16 minutes or so in now. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, and when we come back, we actually will finish out this chapter. So, take care folks. See you later for the conclusion of chapter 6.